Hello, this is Scott with Cheetah TV, and today we're going to learn how to do a firmware update with the new G2 firmware software from Godox. Here we're over at their website. Again, I'm on the, the China site. What we're going to do is we're going to download. I've already downloaded these, so I'm, but basically just click on these, your downloads will start. So now we'll go to our desktop. So since I've already got them downloaded, you'll get them in a RAR file. Uh, you just extract them, bring them down out of here, right onto your desktop. I've already done that. So I've already installed them, but we're going to install it again. Here we go. So it should say yes. We'll hit bring the screen over, walk through it. Yes, I agree. Uh, you can leave these blank. You don't have to put nothing in them. We'll just put something in them and hit finish. Now this screen will pop up. This is installing the drivers. You want to make sure you see the little check mark. If you don't see a check mark and you see a red X, then you'll have to go to YouTube and figure out how to set up your administrator uh, setup to get this to go through. So we're going to hit finished. All right. So now we're going to start up the software the here. You can see there's no device I can select. It's just not going to work until you take your micro USB cable, you plug it into your computer. And again, I have no battery inside the 200. Don't need a battery in the 200 to do a firmware update. <clears throat> now you can see it says STM devices in DFU mode. Once you get there, you hit select, you grab your firmware off wherever you downloaded it to. I mine's on my desktop. And then you just click upgrade. So right now it's erasing everything off the 200. Make sure when you're doing this, you do not want to move the 200. You don't want to move the cable. You don't want to actually disconnect it on accident. So while we're going through that, um, I'll just, uh, we're just watching. Now that it's erased everything, now it's uploading the firmware into the 200. Now the firmware is fully installed. It says verified successful. Again, when you do this, I'm going to disconnect it. So I'm going to hit quit. You want to make sure you hear the little bells. That means your device is connected. If you do not hear the bells, then you might have a different sound. Mine has bells. You want to check the cable, make sure the cable works. If you do not hear the chirps, uh, the bells, grab a different uh, micro USB cable because again it might be your micro USB cable. Right now I'm using the one for my phone so it works just fine in the 200. Again let's disconnect it. You'll hear that sound this when it's disconnected and this sound when it's connected. Again let's disconnect it. All right we're going to pop into this screen again and I'm going to switch this to a different 200. So let's do a firmware update on this 200 too, so they both match. Again, this this is just to add some extra little features. Uh, you know, nothing important to me, but. All right, we're going to start the firmware again. All right, so let's do the second 200. We're going to plug it in. You should hear the little bell sound if you're a Windows system. You should hear the little bell sound. And you should see the STM device DU, DFU mode inside here. We're going to select the file. We're going to hit OK. We're going to hit Update. It's going to erase the file. Now it's going to upgrade the file. And to know that you're fully upgraded, once this system setup is done, you're going to hit your mode button and the on button at the same time. And it should say U 
If it doesn't say that, your firmware did not go through properly and you might have to do it again. So we're almost done here. We're at 72, 74. It goes pretty quick. Um, again, you want to make sure you have open space. Nothing's going to disconnect your cable. You're not going to accidentally disconnect it on. It. And so now it's fully done. We're going to hit quit. We're going to pull our cable back out. Let me hear the little sound. Let me put my battery in. So we're going to select, push the mode button and the on button at the same time. And yep, it's U-2.0. Let me check the other one. So let me put a battery in that one. Alrighty. Select, and select it in that one. Turn the mode, press the mode button, turn the power on, and U-2.0, perfect. All right, so now my 200s are firm, are Firmware is updated, um, again using the new G2 Godox firmware software and the new 8200 version 2.0 software or firmware. Again, my name is Scott with Cheetah TV and thank you for watching.